tire just revving it, you know, putting a little load on it, check things out. Next thing you know, and I'm right by the edge here, you're starting to full pull. Yeah, so your protection. Sorry, man, just uh, trying to make it better. Trying to make it better. The car, as you can see, Clayton, is back on the dyno again. <laughs> And uh, the reason it's back on the dyno is we're gonna start trying to take advantage of ethanol. So I'm gonna do a full uh, flex fuel tune on it. So we just put a bunch of E98 in it, drain the tank, put E98 in it. And the next video we'll have, we'll just kind of show what we can get out of the car for power, how ethanol kind of compares to pump gas. And Compared the whole to our 91. 91, yeah. The whole flex fuel tune and maybe a little bit more in depth on Haltech. So we made consistently about 310-ish at 20 pounds. It went as high as like a 91. It went as high um, as like 340, yeah. but it was like 22 pounds or something like that. So now we're, we got the ethanol in it and we're, I'm gonna try to push it a little bit further and just kind of show the difference between ethanol and, uh, and 91. And just for everybody watching, where we're located, we don't get E85 at the pumps here, so. We don't even get 93 out Yeah, we don't even get 93 out in here, so we really suffer. We have to bring in, uh, I bring in E98 for my drag car, so that's basically what we got in this, mixed with a little tiny bit of 91. So the sensor's reading E86 right now. So we're gonna try to just show you a comparison for similar boost for 91. What well, we ran it, well, we turned it down at the track, but what I had it set at um, versus what we can make at similar boost on ethanol. So um, it's looking pretty good so far, so. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get to it. Yeah, get to it. Okay, so we're messing around with the Altec Elite. We've set up the flex fuel sensor. We had a little bit of messing around to do with that, just to do with wiring. Um, I started to configure the ECU to work with the ethanol content sensor and to work with the 85, or in our case, the sensor showing now E90, so it's the same stuff I run in my drag car. So I'm gonna the car was basically tuned on 91, and um, now that I have the flex fuel all configured, we're going to tune it on ethanol, and then after that, we'll let the ECU determine how much timing and boost and all that run that it'll run based on how much ethanol is in it. So when there's only E30 or maybe E70, whatever, the ECU is going to do it all. We'll never have to touch this thing uh, once I get it all finished. So for the flex fuel stuff. It's pretty easy to set up in here. You basically go to functions, and uh, most people won't care about this, but I'm gonna go through it a little bit. And just type in flex. You're gonna pick the sensor that you wanna add. You're gonna configure it. There's lots of videos and stuff on how to do all this stuff online already. And then you'll get some additional tables for both ignition and, um, and the scaler. So, this table is essentially how much more timing we're adding based on um, RPM and KPA, and then this is how much percentage of that table we're adding based on the percentage of ethanol. So at 85, E85, 85%, we're adding 100% of that table. And what's that? Oh, and then there's a fueling table which is very similar and we're gonna have the same thing set up for boost as well so if it sees um, you know E85 for example I can have it set up that it'll run max boost whatever we set max boost to be um, when it sees E85 and then when it goes back down to like E10 which is gonna be closer to our pump gas it will just run boost what we would have set as minimum boost, essentially. Self-adjust, no. Self-adjust, so once this is all done, it doesn't matter what we put in it for pump gas, between pump gas and basically E100 or E98, 
the EC is going to do it all. I'll have it all configured, timing, fueling, boost, everything will be set. We mix, it, uh, we mix, uh, we mix up a jug, anything like that, it won't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So this is an ideal well, situation for track. it'll pull some power, but it'll be safe. Yeah, so. we're going to be... Again, the, the reason we're doing this, as I've kind of said maybe in the other video, is like we run this car between at around 260 to 280 horsepower typically. That's what it was the la last year, I think it was. Last year up to that? Yeah. 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 Okay. But this last track day, it looked like we ran it at around 250. Yeah. Um, so this is just all for see what this turbo will do with this engine there's no we're never going to run this car at 400 wheel horsepower if we get to that point um but we're going to try so it's uh part of the fun of using ethanol as a fuel and part of the fun of having a dyno and having the fun of a dyno yeah so that's kind of why we're doing it so let's get to making another pull clayton all right what are you, are you tapping away there not yet i'm gonna tap away here in a second Okay, so we did run into problems. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we had a throttle body issue. This is now converted to drive-by-wire. Of course, it was just a junky old throttle body that we had put on it. It started causing us problems, so we put another throttle body on it, and I'm ready to make another rip on this thing. Okay, so we're gonna make one more tug on this for tonight. We've been having some problems with the tag signal on the dyno. Um, I think I fried the pickup, so just putting another one of those on and uh, see what we can make for the last run here. And Robbie's looking for some help. What's that? Okay, hopefully we fix this, this issue and we'll see what we can get out of this thing. Still at like 20 pounds of boost. Haven't turned the boost up at all really um, for the last hour or two, anyways. Maybe hour. Um, just trying to kind of maximize power with what we got in it for fuel. So let's see what she got. So we're 
we're going to spray the tires down and give it another go. I am still doing this in third. I might have to go up to fourth, but it's been working good for what it is, so I've kept it in third. It's pretty long, third gear, so we're going to give it another shot here, though. take a look at the boost and all that stuff to see what the comparable what was comparable from the last one okay so that graph was very smooth everything was exactly what I wanted except not quite the horsepower number I wanted so we're gonna try another go a little tiny bit more boost this time you ready for this Clayton all right it's set Okay, we're done. You, you feeling? I am happy. Yeah, I'm happy. So we had a couple like uh, a couple of graphs that we lost the tax signal and the odd thing that happened. But I did one last run in fourth, and it did 401 SAE corrected um, with the ethanol in it. So that was at like 22 pounds, which is a little bit more in fourth gear because of the extra load on it. But um, we're almost like, if I had to say realistically, probably 80 wheel horsepower more than 91 octane. So very similar boost. And uh, like I said, about 80 wheel horsepower in the difference just by putting ethanol in the car and being able to advance the timing a bunch. So, And like you were explaining to me earlier, you know, I was worried about the car getting hot in between Man, After not, it just stays so cool. good, yeah, or stays so good. cool. So to put this into perspective for people, um, 400 wheel horsepower in a 1,900 pound car, the power to weight is ridiculous. Maybe Clayton can put a couple in the video of what it would compare to. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll yeah, do that. there's uh, a lot of people don't really take into consider consideration power to weight. My orange Mark One Rabbit, I ran it on the street with 400 wheel horsepower, and um, there wasn't a lot of cars out there that could touch it once it had traction. Um, so, uh, although that car made more power in the end, but I'm telling you, 400 wheel horsepower in this car is a force to be reckoned with. And probably 150 more horsepower than what we'll need at the track. Totally, but at least the power's there if we start getting some aero stuff figured out, yep. you know looks like we could maybe even run bigger tires again from what we have here i know this is pushing it but there's still more room yet oh, there's always a saw or right a exactly grinder and some rivets so. exactly so um if you got any questions about the haltech and how it works and tuning flex fuel this is kind of this video would be more specific obviously you've watched the video um to the benefits of uh running ethanol or e85 uh, compared to a pump, regular pump gas. So if you have any questions or comments about running Haltech or running ethanol in your car, configuring it, ask below. Clayton, how do you feel about uh, making 400 wheel in the Soul Girl? It's uh, it's awesome. Yeah. I, I'm kind of speechless. Pretty but wild. Yeah, so pretty the graph awesome. looks really good. Um, lots of power, lots of torque, way more than this thing needs. Yeah, That's I'll for show sure, them so. quick, but we'll overlay it as well. So. Yeah. And again, this is SAE corrected. If I change the correction to uncorrected, it's like 412 or something like that. Which, Which we it, should do a video at some point uh, going over yeah, different like things like... People, this is, people usually will tote their highest dyno sheets that they get, but 
by using the SE correction, we're, you know, if I dyno this car in the springtime or in the dead of winter, we should really have very similar results. Um, so that's why we always show you. We don't show you the highest numbers we make. We show you consistent numbers. So any questions or comments, ask them below. I said that like 10 times already. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry uh, for the lack of videos this yeah, month. Yeah, we've had a rough go, a couple cars that caused some grief and did a bunch of setbacks, So, but we got a bunch of stuff coming. So more videos to come. Um, see you in the next video. Unneeded for this car, but yeah. still fun.